right, we're on the road. We are heading to Idaho for our well. We've got the beautiful Columbia River over here. Super nice day. So wish us luck. been here in about six weeks and our uh, alfalfa is growing <laughs> so this is our trailer we definitely have a lot of weed whacking to do today to uh, make this a campsite again but uh, what we've done is last time we were here well not what we did but what our road guy did our driveway stopped right here so now we have taken the driveway all the way to our building site so it wraps all the way up and around and over to the building site now, which has been leveled off. So our plan is we've got about seven or eight acres of uh, Timothy alfalfa mix. It goes to the tree line. This over here is going to be livestock and um, hay for them for winter time. So we're going to have to kind of tractor them around. The driveway is going to go up and around that way. And then this area between that dirt you see over there and that flat area is going to be where our house is and well and septic and all that. And then this grassy area in between is going to be where we grow our food. So it's going to be eventually one day orchard and garden. But it's just kind of nice to have this in because now we can picture it and we know how much space we're working with. Just step up there you can see better. I must step up here so I can see better. I'm on this big giant pile. All these uh, piles are going to be uh, trucked out of here and probably used to build up yeah. some of our low areas. But yep. All right, so this is kind of the low spot in the driveway that we were worried about. Um, not worried about, but you know, mindful of. And then this is kind of a dip. So there's a culvert over here in the grass, which is going to eventually be laid down here. And then a lot of the soil is going to be moved to backfill and level that whole thing out. So our driveway is all flat and level and not getting wet in the wintertime. And then we are playing around with the idea of diverting the water to the low spot and having a pond and then the orchard and garden up there, which would be really pretty. So this is the end of the driveway. I love that it has a cool natural curve to it. Just looks more natural. Um, but where these stakes are, this has all been leveled out. It's just so cool to see it looking like a, a building site. Sorry if this wind is loud. I don't have a wind sock on this mic. So um, this is the front of the house, the two stakes. And then uh, the back stakes are the back of the house. We view out the front. Awesome. And then where the driveway ends right here is going to be um, a carport where we park. That's it. That's that's the home site. Um, and then, yeah, car park will just go straight to the driveway. But we're having the well put in tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. Hopefully that goes well. All right, heading back <laughs> no the other direction like we're leaving.
Okay, so uh, he's weed whacking. We got the generator going because we came back to a dead battery. Left something on. Oh well, live and learn. But um, anyway, this is uh, this is kind of part of the area that he's weed whacked so far. Uh, we're just doing the area around the trailer because this is an alfalfa field behind me. You can kind of see. It's pretty deep. It's like knee deep now. And uh, so he's working. And then we're going to get a fire going here. Our home away from home. Home for now. Up here, a lot of staff. Better, yes, though. You got a lot of shake in your game. It's not going in the yard, Rusty. It's going in our living room. <laughs> 